Uh, my name is Les Schobert, and uh, from the time I was in junior high school up until 1996, I was involved with all facets of captive animal handling and breeding and conservation in North America. I was the animal collection curator of the Los Angeles Zoo from 1992 to 1996. And I've always professed that if uh, there came a point in time when I didn't feel like I could make a difference, uh, and I had really tried that I would quit the profession, and I have left the profession now out of disgust for some of the compromises that have occurred for the animals. You have to, you have to at some point stand up and be counted, you know? It's time to change. And we start with elephants. How much space does an elephant need? That's like saying how much space does a human need? I think more important is what you do with that space. We need to provide them with uh, what I call the freedom for animals. And this is not freedom from being enclosed. This is a freedom for the animals to go search and find what they want. If they want shade, it should be available to them. They need the freedom to seek out shade. If they want water, they should have, be afforded the freedom to go get water. If they want to hide from their others, from the others, they need to have that freedom to go hide. If they want to interact, they need that freedom to interact. If they want to go over and eat hay, they should have that freedom. If they want to dig for salt, they should have that freedom. These are freedoms that animals, we, we can provide them with their freedoms, the freedom to choose what they want to do. Now, it's up to us as being managers of these captive animals to provide them with those freedoms. I mean, they're not asking much. So therefore, it's going to be up to people like us to tell the zoos that we're not going to stand for it anymore. I mean, we're, we're putting together at the space station in, in, uh, outside our atmosphere. But zoos are sitting there doing things the way they've been doing it since 1930. The quality of life for animals. I wish I would hear that every time I turned around. You know, the quality of life of the animals. What is the quality of life? Assess the quality of life. And don't tell me the high quality of life is, is whether or not your animals are breeding. God, a prisoner will breed and successfully produce an offspring. That isn't the mark of a high quality of life. I, I really and truly hope that the outcome of stirring this pot a little bit will be that zoos will go, hey, you know, maybe we could do that. This is where it's got to start. You know, and again, I don't expect it to be done in my lifetime. Uh, but, you know, we got to start somewhere. Talk to everyone that you can. Uh, not to where they, they shrink when they see you coming, but uh, become a, a leader uh, in this, in this uh, issue. There are so few people that understand what the issue is. When you can sit down and explain to someone what the, what the true issues are, then, then they will usually join hands with you because uh, most people just don't get it. They don't, have never taken the time to understand it. But uh, think about hunting, is that fair? Sport hunting to me is where you parachute naked into the Antarctic with a Bowie knife. That's sport. <laughs> <laughs> My money's on the polar bear. <laughs>